When the pancreas is healthy, it produces enzymes to help break down food and secretes them into the small intestine. There are different enzymes to digest carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. If you have pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, then your pancreas doesn't make enough enzymes to break down all the food you eat into absorbable components. Pancreatic exocrine insufficiency is a condition that occurs as a complication of pancreatic damage. The most common causes of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency are chronic pancreatitis, alcohol abuse, pancreatic cancer, type 1 diabetes, genetic disorders such as cystic fibrosis, inflammation from digestive diseases such as Crohn's disease or celiac disease, and complications from some surgeries in the digestive tract. Most pancreatic exocrine insufficiency symptoms result from not absorbing enough nutrition from food. Too much unabsorbed fat in the intestine causes stools that are oily, large, pale, very foul-smelling, and tend to float in toilet water and stay in the toilet bowl even after flushing. This is known as steatorrhea. Fatty stools can also lead to fecal incontinence or oily leakage, intestinal gas, and bloating. Nutritional deficiencies are common, especially of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Pancreatic exocrine insufficiency can also cause weight loss. In children, these factors can result in a failure to thrive. Some symptoms of nutrient malabsorption include fatigue from not enough calories or various nutritional deficiencies, anemia from vitamin B12 or iron deficiency, bone disease from vitamin D deficiency, and bleeding disorders from vitamin K deficiency. When it comes to treating pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, the first and most important step is to identify and manage the underlying cause. These treatments will vary. However, there are options available to treat the symptoms of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency itself. Eat multiple small meals rather than one or two large meals. Fatty foods can worsen steatorrhea, but it is still important to consume some fats because you need them to absorb certain vitamins. Just stick to healthy sources such as nuts, seeds, olives, or fatty fish, rather than processed foods or red meat. And while fiber is good for gut health, many individuals with pancreatic exocrine insufficiency find low fiber intake makes digestion easier. You might also need certain vitamin or mineral supplements and it's a good idea to discuss any nutrition concerns with a registered dietitian. The most effective treatment for pancreatic exocrine insufficiency is pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, which involves taking a medication called pancreolipase, sold under various brand names, which provide the body with enzymes. You can take pancreolipase with each meal or snack that contains fat and or protein. You will need to work with your healthcare team to establish dosage for pancreolipase, as this will vary from person to person and meal to meal, with large fatty meals requiring more enzymes than small, low fat meals. With pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy and some dietary adjustments, you can manage symptoms of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency. However, you still need to work with your healthcare team to treat the underlying cause of pancreatic exocrine insufficiency as best you can. To learn more about pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, go to www.badgut.org 